Hi, everybody. We're back. Four o'clock action, winner's side. And this is the 2015 U.S. Open 8-Ball Championships presented by Q Sports International and sponsored by Predator, our official Q, Kamui, our official tip, and Omega Billiard Supply, our official store. And alongside of our grade three signature sponsors, I also want to make mention of our associate sponsors here, our hosts, The Rio Hotel, Diamond Billiard Products, Simona's Cloth, Cyclop Pool Balls, the Magic Rack, and the best tournament directing team in the world, bar none, Bad Boys Billiard Productions. Thanks, everybody, for all your support of CSI events. And there we proudly display all of our sponsor logos right there in front of you. And what a terrific match we've got up here. Winner side action. This is Jeff Ignacio breaking. And if you haven't seen him play, you are in for a treat. He's from Manila. And after he breaks off, I'm going to give you a few of his credentials. Very important lag that he just won. Jeff's, I think he's 22 years old, maybe 23 at the most. He's been in the States for about a year and a half now. And he has burst onto the scene <coughs> last year. His first appearance up in Northern California, he won the Marcoulis Memorial Nine Ball Championships. And then this year in Reno at the 22nd U.S. Bar Table Championships, he won the 10 ball division. He won the 8 ball division. He won the all around championship. And he won a lot of money. And he scared a lot of people. And he's going to do that for a long time. <coughs> Steven, Bobby's headset, please. Yep. How old is he? He's at 22? I think he's 22, maybe 23. Looks older than that. Not much more than that. Well, he plays like he's a lot older, too. Meanwhile, uh, Jeff's figuring this out. I can tell you that on uh, TV table number two, winner's side action, Mike DeShane is 4-0 ahead of Warren Kiamko. And Jeff opens up with a bank on the stripes. And he's going to have another stripe that he's going to have to take care of. And that's that 11 ball near the... Oh, that's the 9, not the 1. So he's got a combination there. The 14 passes. He's looking at that next. That looks pretty natural to get over for that. And then he would probably play the combination. And then probably the second ball of the combination. And the 13 in the side for last is how it looks from here. Well, he didn't come far enough, and that's okay. He's probably going to just save that ball behind the eight for last. <coughs> He'll shoot the 13 next. Um, I'm thinking he depends on where the nine winds up. He may use the 13 to get down table for the strike behind the eight. But you're right, he won't be able to now. But that's okay. Straight in on the nine is good. <coughs> I see those angles pretty good on these bar tables. You you do, and, and I will admit, oh, Bobby. Seven footers. Well, yeah. <laughs> I will admit, though, um, <clears throat> I've never really been a, a seven-foot player. I never grew up around them. Uh, probably played, you know, three or four times in my life on them. And I certainly would defer to you because of the experience you've got on this size table. And you're right, the angles are different. Okay, he would love to be right where he is now. Well, no, he needs more angle on the nine. He's got to be kind of center table to shoot mm -hmm. the nine. Yeah, right. That's good. Good angle there. Yep. <coughs> you know, he may stay the other side of the seven just to avoid running into it. 
on the far side of the seven, take a little longer shot on the, on the nine. Well, I guess that was more room there again than I, I could tell. And just like that, one to nothing. He's hustling. Mm -hmm. Bag of Doritos for lunch. It was good, boy. Yeah. I'm on my third banana. That's about all I've had since breakfast. Well, the South Dakota kid from Sioux Falls, the best player in the USA, top five player in the world, and you can probably place him anywhere in that top five, and depending on what time of year it is, he'll be one, two, three, four, or five. I don't even think he'll be below three. <laughs> Now, this man has experience on a seven-footer. He grew up on him. Crunched him. Five ball. No. It didn't go? It did not go. It hung. Oh, God, look. Yeah. I was right. watching it go, and I turned. I looked away. I'm like, how that ball not fall? Mm-hmm. We can get a peek at the eight ball there and see if it passes in the left lower left pocket. Yeah, he's taking the solids here for sure. Mm -hmm. the three and the seven both go by the five. Thank you. Yep. You know, the ball that's a little funky there is that six right in the middle of the table. I mean, it's got all kinds of pockets, but where do you want to take it in your sequence? I think he's going to do it right now, maybe, and send it at the five ball and roll down there for the three and the seven. I think so, too. This is because good. the four connects it to the one, and the two will get you to the eight. I like this pattern. Where's the six going? Okay. I'd shoot the three and move the eight. He doesn't have to move the eight. It has a pocket. But why not just scoot it over? And then shoot the because, six. Because then you take the pocket away from the two ball. I don't think there's any need to move no, a ball yeah, that no. goes, especially when... It goes. Look, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, look the way the four, the four to the one to the two to the eight. It's so natural. I just like re rearranging the furniture a little bit. Just you, you just like doing doing show off stuff, mm -hmm. you know. Anybody can play it conventionally. I mean, <laughs> five to nothing over there. Yeah, and they've only been playing about thirty minutes over there. Is this a um, this is a winner's bracket. Yeah, year. so is the other one. And, but they're both winner bracket. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Warren really escaped that match with Darren winning that thing hill hill. No, I didn't see it. There's another guy here that <clears throat> doesn't take much time. He has his mind made up. One warm-up stroke, and he shoots. What you doing, Jeffrey? There you go. Yeah. Uh, warm-up. Take one more warm-up stroke. Yeah, one I more. would think maybe next time you might want to do that. That's what happens. Yeah. You know what I mean? You get a little anxious. So sleep in the car three or four times from doing that and see what you do next mm -hmm. time. Yep. Because I done done it in that Chevy Nova Motel. <laughs> yeah. With the deluxe back seat. That's right. That could have been. That could be a three-game swing. Easily, easily. If he wins it, he's break, and then he's breaking. It's right. two to nothing. He's on his break. He runs out three to nothing, as opposed to. 
right. for a careless mistake. Yeah. Well. Well, I like this. He's going to go over there near the 10 next. No, maybe he's not. Yeah, sure, 10 next. That's Shane's lucky shirt. Every shirt Shane owns is a lucky shirt. No, but he used to wear that one pink shirt well, all he, the time. Well, he, he has like 30 of them. Does he? <laughs> yeah. Don't move the eight. Yeah, boy. Okay. That was very, very fortunate for the South Dakota kid. He was not supposed to come to the table that yeah. rack, and no. it was on his own break, and as you said, it could easily have been 3 nothing. for 5-1, and he's done that. But it's Mike DeShane to break with a 5-1 lead. Uh, he lost the cue ball a bit. Where's the cue ball going to go? Oh, boy. <coughs> You know, I like just just shooting the 10 in the corner, kind of aim at the middle diamond there and come around. And I would take a chance on getting through the gap to the 4-8 for the 15, for the 14 next. And if I don't, I've got a couple stripes in front of the side for insurance. Yeah, that's easy, that's easy to get in the 4-14 four, 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 gap. That's he's got like a mile. Yeah. Even if he hits the 4, it don't matter. Right, and that's exactly where he wants to go. Just don't want to hit the four in a place where it will screw the eight ball up. Good job. Nicely done. I'd go. I would go in between the two and the nine. Pr the angle goes right between the ball. Yeah, kind of at the seven. Yeah, just right. go right in the gap. Yeah, shoot the fifteen next if he gets. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All kind of things can happen here, and it's all good. Just go right in that gap. I might even prefer to go with the two, and I'll tell you why. I might like to save the 15 for my ball before the eight, because that whole left side of the table is wide open, Bobby. You know, yeah. if you play one of these to get on the eight, you got to kind of come around. Mm -hmm. And especially if the 12 goes up the corner near the five, nine, 13, 12. And then the 14 gets me to the eight. Yeah, he's got to leave the 15 to the 15, line. yeah. Not to correct you or anything. <laughs> and I had, I had to get you. You got me too, but, but I'm... Yeah, yeah, he, he wasn't, yeah, wasn't going to play the 15 no. then. No, he, he faked this out. 
He was bluffing. <clears throat> well, that might be a bit straight. It finally has settled into me about these colors to where I haven't made that mistake for days. I yeah, got, you're doing better. I got it down with these colors finally. Yeah. I got the 6 7 down, and the 14 15 still messes me up because there's so much white on the ball. Mm -hmm. You know, the color doesn't really stand out. <clears throat> yeah, this could have easily been three to nothing. Yes, yeah, sir. We've got a lot of people sweating this match. Look, the VIP seats are all filled. Mm -hmm. A few months ago, Shane won his fourth consecutive, not his fourth, his yeah, consecutive. He won his fourth U.S. bar table nine ball championship, the last three in a row. He's got like 3,000 titles there at the U.S. bar table. Or is that in Reno? Yeah. I didn't hear anything. That is one unhappy South Dakota kid. He's looking at the table, saying, don't you know who I am? Yeah, yes, yeah, exactly. I'm Shane Van Boney. I don't break dry. It's OK, like one, one little cluster there on the upper right long rail, the seven and the nine. Lots of stuff to open it with. Um, I'd like solids only because of the 13 ball, which is near that side on the mm -hmm. right near the magic rack. But what solid you're going to open with? Easy. Bank the one straight back. Yeah, I saw that. No, I'm just kidding. That's Why a tough not? shot. <clears throat> but he don't have much to shoot out here. He can't cut the five in the corner. You know? The only thing, and I, maybe JB can get us a shot, if the six ball comes all the way right through the gap, the gap. right up I here think, in that know, corner pocket, does. and if it does, that's the shot, because you can stop there, use the five to open the nine, six, nine, seven, and the one's insurance. I think it does. Yeah, it must be, because he's playing it. But it's a little bit of like a shooting between that gap with those balls and it kind of makes it a little hinky. Well, it's intimidating. You can see the three's got part of the pocket blocked. He's got to play oh, to the short rail side. Oh, no, 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 no. He hit it back. He one-stroked it, too. Did you see how quick he shot? And you know what? If he took a little more time, he might have realized that the stripe was there to actually help him. So you got to overcut to that side. But uh, now Shane with a incredible opportunity that I'm sure he didn't expect. It looks like he's got the angle to go right into the cluster. And that 4-6 is not going to be too much of a problem. Mm, you're probably going to have to play the 1 and the 7 in the side. I don't think he can make, if he can make the 7 in the side, he'll play it now. I can't tell if the 9's got him. If it doesn't, that's the shot. Now it goes, I believe. Yeah, but he may not like where the cue ball's going. So this will get him a better angle on it. Right, nice job. <clears throat> After the combination, he can stop right there and play the two in the side where the 12 ball is. Pretty, this seems easy, it looks here. It, yeah, it's a little touchy, Bobby, because he wants to hit the four, you know, full. He doesn't want to have to graze it. He's going to have to pull this back about a ball. Oh, that'll do the job. Stay right there for the deuce. That 
I think he solved it. Two to two on serve. Warren has gotten two back on Mike over there from five nothing down. It's now five two. Warren's at the table. Such a great field here. I mean, either one of these matches could easily be a final. And here we are still a, a, a day and almost a half away from getting to the finals. <coughs> Grief. Huh. Is there anything left? Five. He made five of them. He only made a third of them. Nine can play ten ball. Well, you got to take solids because you don't really have a stripe to shoot. And the four ball is the only kind of tricky ball here. Plenty of room there for that six. shoot the one. Uh, yeah, I kind of thought that too. I might even try to slide over for that uh, four ball exactly. if I can. Okay, and if I don't get there, I got the three mm -hmm. or I got the seven. I like the one, Robert. Mm -hmm. Coming right behind the four right across. Yes, right sir. There, straight across. Yes, sir. And then shoot three, then boom, boom. Because yep. his angle on the three in the side is taking the cue ball up at the seven, eight. Yeah, you got to shoot the one here. You know what I mean? That's no, he's shooting, he's shooting the three. Well, maybe he's going to float forward and then shoot the one and then get on the four. No, he's shooting these other balls next. He's coming down here. He's shooting these balls next. Watch. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe he felt that was the best time to get yeah. position on it because <clears throat> now you're just going to graze the, the stripe and bounce mm -hmm. off the rail and have the and seven, seven inside. Yeah. And then the one gets you to the four. But I would have got that four out of there. I buddy. would have too. And the only reason is... The eight only has one pocket, and if you don't if you don't get an angle on the four, you're going to have a little bit of a, of a problem. To me, this is just a high ball, too hard. He's shooting the four. Well, he is, but now he's now it's a little funny. Yeah, I think he might be able to get that cue ball about a ball off the rail. Because the four is out just a little bit. Yeah. Because when he shoots the one, he's, he, he's he has to stay on that side. Yeah, he's got to be off the rail. Right. That's why I, I, I think I would have done what we talked about. At least I would have got the one four out of there before I came down table. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, the seven goes over here. Look at that. Well, Boy. He had plenty of room. Is going to come sharp out of that corner, two rails, and play the seven in the lower I right? I don't know. Because 
natural two rails is right at the seven. Exactly, hitting the middle middle of the sh long long rail over uh -huh. the other side. I mean, the, middle, th but the, thir the 13 could get in the way, I mm -hmm. suppose, but from uh, what we looked at, that 7 is kind of tight into that pocket. Now, <coughs> evidently, uh, we didn't see the angle the way he did, but mm -hmm. he's still a little too thin here. I'm not sure if he can... I would have went two rails in yeah. between that gap. He's going to ha have to dig down, go th between the two stripes, and come three rails. Mm -hmm. Don't see him. Can't go forward. He's got to dig down low left here and three rails. This is, isn't really too tough, you know. Just making the ball. You know, I don't, this isn't too tough. Well, you got to make sure you don't hit the thirteen. Hit the thirteen. Or it, right? it may not be too tough, but at the same time, it ain't that easy. No. It's it's medium difficulty because of what you got to do with the white ball. The shot isn't tough. It's the cue ball control. Made it sweet. <clears throat> By the way, Warren got another game back on DeShane over there. It's now 5-3. They're on a timeout. But Mike did have him 5 nothing. already 10 no 5 There's Shane's Q tech break Q up after this on the table? Do you not know yet, huh? No, haven't been informed yet. I right, finally made a ball. I'm going to make another ball. No, it's seven hung. Well, you got to shoot the stripes to have a pocket for the eight, I think. Because if you shoot the solids, you got to move the seven, the six. And uh, it only has one hole, so stripes are the choice. <clears throat> it's got plenty of balls behind the triangle to move the eight, so that's not really going to be too much of a difficulty. And if you'll also notice, every stripe is on this half of the table, so the cue ball doesn't have to flirt with any of the solid balls. All he's got to do is probably get close enough here to play the combination. And roll the cue ball into the eight. The or, the nine. or the seven. Either way, it doesn't yeah, matter. You got the nine as a right. But you only belt. need to hit one of these balls. When you open up balls like this, if you move one, you've opened them. I like hitting the six. He liked hitting the eight. <laughs> and uh, you might have to play another combination. I know everybody's probably waiting on one of my stories, but I'm saving it with Jay Helford. Me and Jay's going to tell a story. Don't worry about it. So stay tuned.
All right. Three apiece. Mike DeShane at the table. Leading 5-3 over Warren the Warrior. is sponsored by Snooker's Bar and Grill out of Providence, Rhode Island. It's one of his sponsors. So back over here with Jeffrey to break. 3-3. Cue ball's down there every time, doesn't it? It's unbelievable how much yeah. that cue ball winds up down there. But these balls are wide open. He's got a stripe in the side if he wants it, and he's sure got a solid if he wants it. All he's solid he got is a six in the side, and that's a tough shot. Well, he's got the hanger. He can play a combination on up, any ball on the what? hanger. A nine. Unless it goes, unless it don't no, know, it doesn't no. go. Yeah, it doesn't go. You're right. I don't know if he can hit the five or not. He ain't got much of a shot here. On well, I don't really know what the problem solids. would be with, with, with shooting the uh, 14 in the side. Mm -mm. No, that's, that, that's just right. That's the only shot he's got. Because all the stripes have pockets. Mm -hmm. and the eight has pockets. It's just a question of... Uh, you might have to do a little something with the cue ball here. You don't want to run into the eight. Yeah, because you could knock the eight right down the rail where uh -huh. they'll go. Right. I think I'd put a little draw on this. What's what's happening here? What between uh, all them balls. Yeah. He might have to cut the 12, Bobby. Mm -hmm. I don't know that he's got a pocket for another stripe. How crazy. He, he's trying to hit some something. Mm -hmm. Well, he's looking at the 13 right now. How weird that was to go behind you know, the ball. It, it, it almost looked to me like he didn't pick a place to go when you shot the ball on the side. Mm -mm. You know, it was more general area. Just figuring he's going to hit something. Yeah, and... That's not really the best way to play sometimes. You you know, you got to pick a spot to go. If you get there, you get there. If you don't, you don't. But if you don't have a target in mind, you're not going to get to it. <coughs> Mike did get out over there, by the way. 6-3 now, Warren breaking. You just got to maybe run into the three here, two rails. No, okay, that's good if it goes. But it didn't. Look where he left himself if he would have made it. Well, you're right about that. He had no shot. He had nothing but the, the nine. nine ball. Yeah, right. Yeah. I don't know. Can Shane get to the seven without a little twist? I think so. I look like he's go straight real in. first. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh yeah. the eight, the eight doesn't have him. And the two goes. Not, there's nothing hanging here. Yeah, I think he's going to the two I now. Mean, there's nothing tied up. I mean, I know it means a little bit more cue ball travel, but maybe the path is now one to the two, two to the six, and then the three five. He could stay there for the six now, you know. I mean, but I wouldn't want to leave the two there more than one or two more balls. It looks pretty to get to to use the two to get on the eight. But the eight has both corners. So the three or the five gets you there. 
I still like the deuce next. Let's see if uh, I'm thinking like Shane. That would be a, a miracle. to hit the stripe. <clears throat> I still think he's going to shoot the two. You don't think? I do. Oh, I still do think he's going to shoot the two. I would just shoot and just roll it in. Yeah. A little bit of left English and just roll it in. Mm -hmm. And just come out about two inches, an inch, just, you know, just like that. Mm -hmm. He might have thought off at first he was going to hit that 15, maybe, or something. <clears throat> That's a perfect though. Don't get jacked up on the nine. Fine. All right, he's regained the edge now because he's ahead, ahead of game and breaking. Back over to TV2 here. Warren at the table, as you can see, 6-3 down to Mike. Winner side. <coughs> Warren is sponsored by Tiger Products and the Vinny Q's. And he is the reigning Derby City nine ball champion, having beaten Alex Pagulayan in a two set final. get all twisted. Yeah, that's kind of unusual, isn't it? <clears throat> the I think the ball's been breaking all, all those four stripes down here. Yeah. Well, if he starts with the nine in the side, it's a question of can he get on that 14 or is he going to run into the seven? <coughs> Solids all have pockets, but he'd have to start with a combination or a rail first shot on the three. You can see the five does go by. I think he's going rail first on the three, unless the four goes. to take the solids here for sure. <clears throat> I don't think the four goes by there. Dude, Kenny Thompson sitting there. It's Brooks dad. Thomason. Thomason. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. He said Thompson. 
I did. You ain't getting that by you me. Ain't, you, know, you don't miss nothing. No, no, no. You're just waiting for me to say something wrong. Yeah. Oh, he wanted to just graze the 14, the 14 there <clears throat> so he'd be able to shoot it next. Now he has a problem. He's Well, he's got the 13. Do all American players make faces and grimace? They all grimace. Yeah. Yeah. It's part of their training. It is. I, yeah, I think it is. They learn that at a young yeah. age to mm -hmm. make them kind of whiny type faces. <laughs> I had to say some. Well, you got to because people see it. Well, we want everybody, everybody, they want everybody to know how they're feeling. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, I can't hit the ball. Oh, the pool gods are <laughs> taking away from me again. Yeah. Another <laughs> drop break. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think someday the, we ought to give the audience towels. And every time the guy starts to cry, they throw one out at him. That was a good shot there. <coughs> You know, I think I'd play the 15 right now with a little bit of inside and come straight up and then play the 14 next. I'd shoot a 12. You would? Well, you could do the same. I guess you could yeah. do that and come the same way. Mm -hmm. But either way, I think the 14's got to be next. Yes. <coughs> you can't shoot it now because that's going to not yield a good angle. Oh, no, he can't shoot it now. He'd be jacked up. Right. <coughs> But see, this is much easier to reach and control, I suppose. Uh, again, on the seven-footer, tall guy, long cue, it's not going to be too much trouble to reach that 12 either. The reason I like the 15 is, and, and then come back somewhere, you know, near where the cue ball is now. Mm -hmm. And then you can play the 14, and you got a nice gap there to shoot the 12 next. Mm -hmm. And then you could swing around two rails, even if you have a long shot on the last 11 there, it really don't matter. But, um, you so I would shoot the 12 and shoot the 15 in the same pocket as the 12. to solve it one way or the other here. He's going to win this rack. And he's going to go up by two. And now Jeffrey is fighting from behind. As long as Shane can hold his serve, he can't be caught. 
five three. <coughs> Jeffrey must win this rack. He cannot afford to go 6-3 down with Shane breaking. Can you I didn't nothing? hear nothing. Nothing went. No, 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 no. Well, I kind of like the solids. Let's see, does he have one to start with? And that's only because the 12 and the 15 would have to go in the left corner pocket. <clears throat> Not all that difficult with the 14 in front of the other side to get there. So he could easily start with the 9. I like the stripe. Yeah, yeah. As long as as long as he's got that ball in front of the right side to slide down for these two, I suppose that's okay. He's got some maneuvering to do to get out whatever ball he takes, you mm -hmm. know, because these balls are sitting tough. You know what, I would I would somehow or another shoot the 11 and leave the 14 to where I can get on the 12 and 15. You know what yeah. I mean? <clears throat> there is uh, Lazaro Martinez. Look at that. Our Ooh. little eight-year-old junior champion and his twin brother. <clears throat> <laughs> They're a trip. I'll tell you, they gave us some some of our most memorable moments here this week. It was so much fun to watch them oh, play, yeah. it was. running around the table. Little L. Yeah. Okay, well, that's what he's going to do. He's going to get behind the 12 now. Mm-hmm. Yep. He'd like to roll. Uh, he's yeah, he's too, he, he, he's he too steep. To, he needed to get straighter on he, it. Yeah, he should have rolled down. Yeah. What he was doing. Because if he come too far, he could have played the other ball. Is that the moose shoes he's wearing? I don't know. He's not sponsored by Moose Billiard Shoes, but uh, I'm not sure that he doesn't own a pair. But I don't know, Bobby. I've never really seen them up close myself. I want to see a pair. Do they have horns on them? <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Like Bullwinkle-type looking shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah. Coming out the of the back. Bullwinkle ears. Yeah, they look like, look like spurs in the back, but they're moose horns. Well, the guy to check with would be uh, Torsten. He wears them. He's sponsored by him, and I think Rodney Morris as well. Yeah. And Toasty, can I see your shoes? Maybe, maybe Jason. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I actually asked Rodney about it yesterday because a friend of mine, a uh, good friend of mine from Boston, uh, Bobby Lewis, is here this week, and he, he actually asked me about them, and I didn't know, so I asked Rodney, and Rodney pretty much uh, said uh, just either Google it or... Uh, you should be able to find something on the internet. I don't know that they're sold in stores. I think no, it's strictly on the yeah. internet. <clears throat> so you Google Moose Billiard Shoes, I'm sure you're going to find what you need. Where's Rodney in this event? Is he still in this? Uh, I don't know. I don't know either. <clears throat> Looks like a nice natural two rails right at the stripe. Push it at 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Now we come up short 
on the long rail and go right toward the 15. Or he's going to go behind the three. I don't like that. I'd go on this side of the three you can. I agree with you. You got. It looks like you got more real estate. Yeah, you I mean look. Mm -hmm. Inside, you'll hit in between the pocket in the first diamond and go right toward the ball. That's the way it looks to me. But <clears throat> it's easier what that it, way. Whatever way he decides is the right way. Maybe for him. For him? Well. Watch, he's going to do what I said. Watch. Yeah, he's killing it low inside. No, he's going the other way. Well, I think his, his choice there was uh -huh. correct because now he doesn't have to flirt with anything to get on the eight. Right, and he got If he comes right. through the through the narrow gap, he's got to go around, yeah. you know, to get back yeah, on the eight and cross the line. Yes, he did. He hit it perfect. Right, so... He certainly did. made he made the right decision. Yes, and he did. It turned out perfect. Six three. And you know, once again, it's when you're down on the table, it's so much easier to really get a feel for the shot. It's uh, sitting up here. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's hard to see when you're looking at the monitor. You know, it's a little you mm. can't get exactly. You know. Yeah. And we're 20 feet from the pool table or further. And and elevated up. Yeah. Mm. So in case anybody <coughs> thinks we're stupid, we're not. We just can't. <coughs> we don't get the right feel. Well, we've, uh, as you know, because you've been in all the meetings, and we've, we've talked with Ozzy uh, about uh, a recommendation for next year for us to invest in an overhead camera directly oh, over the table. Yeah, and uh, I'm pretty sure Ozzy uh, felt that that would be a, a good improvement for, our, for our stream. We talked that this morning? No. Well, no. No, it wasn't today. One of the last few days. It might have been a day where you didn't have the morning shift, so you yeah. weren't here. But we did We did talk about it. Because uh, this morning, they might have talked. It looked like the table sprung a leak. Two, four, he made three stripes. Two, five, seven. Huh. He made three stripes on the bracket and don't have a shot. That's weird. Yeah, he don't have any. Look, he don't, he's got to bank the 13 across the side. I guess is the only shot. No, wait, 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 wait. He can shoot the solid. That's right. He don't have to take the stripes. He might be shooting the four here. Up in the left corner. And this is a tough shot, too. It goes. He'll probably make it good as he shoots. Whatever, you know. Yeah, he's got to take the solids here. Mike DeShane is on the hill, 8-4, and at the table. And Shane is creeping ever closer to the finish line here. Well, that's not where he wanted to wind up. It's going to be okay, but... He didn't want to be right there.
If he gets on the three, he's going to ha be having to probably run into the nine ball or something, or maybe run into the five because he can't. You know, Ken? Yeah, I just uh, wonder whether the three will go by the five. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And Never mind. That, and it that, does. And that's why I think he's not happy w where it was on the seven. I think he wanted to use the seven float to down. float down, yeah. Because it looks like the eight goes in both corners once the three's out of there. But now he's looking at the three from there. So maybe it doesn't pass the five. Three goes, he's going to try to get on it right here. Yeah, I back cut the two and go with the ten, two, two rail, rails. Yeah. yeah. And he, he does have the seven for insurance just in case. That needs to slide. Oh boy. Five he he just he lucky there. That's I mean, pretty that's, fortunate that, there. That's ball in hand. If you, you know, if you were going to place it with your no, fingers, he was that's where you put it. He was trying to get I on the know, three. Yeah. Now he is going to have to wind up probably playing the three by the 11 eventually. Mm -hmm. And the, like you said, the nine is a problem for that. I think <coughs> yeah, and it's hard to draw away from him because then he's passing. Yeah. Would you risk drawing into the 13 and trying to stay right there for the three in the other pocket? Let me see. Wait, I, can't I don't think he's got a steep enough angle. Uh, I don't know. Just hit it right on the number there. Yeah, and just go right. It. Now was he, he good? Well, now he's looking at cutting the three to his left from over there. This deserves every bit of time and attention he's giving it. Yeah, because he knows how important it is to get this rack. It really, really puts a lot of heat on Jeff. I think you can cut it in like this. He's cutting it yeah, in. Yeah, well, <coughs> now that he could get at least that far out, Excuse me. I think he's okay. Is he going to kill this ball with inside off the rail? I think so. Yes, he is. I think yes, so. Is. Right at the one. Oh, just be, boy, that was risky, too. That could have glanced right off the one and gone in the pocket. But now it looks pretty academic from here. You know, we've been so spoiled by this man for the past six or seven, eight years. We expect him to never miss, never get out of line. And for the most part, he doesn't disappoint us. But uh, but I think uh, we should all re recognize the greatness. It's just not that nice easy job. to do it time after time after time, year after year, event after event. But we all know how famous he is for his work ethic and practice routine. and doesn't have a whole lot else to distract him from continuing to hone his craft. So Warren got one back over there too. It's 8-5 and Warren's going to break. Here it's 7-3. That's a cool shirt. Look at that back of that shirt. Not to change the subject. Look at that. Huh? Yeah. Hustling with the Las Vegas sign in there. Well, Tony Hargan from Hustlin makes those um, at whatever events he goes to. I mean, we have one for the Reno Bar Box like that. And, Do you? Um, yeah, and, you know, several other events. He does the Marcoulis Memorial Tournament. That's in a good looking Sacramento. shirt there. <coughs> uh -oh. Cue ball. Oh, boy. Boy, that was unlucky. He got kicked. You see, kicked yeah. him right square, in the, right square in the face. Yeah. That's brutal. 
that's a legitimate bad roll. Yeah. You know, he was stopped right in the center. Yeah. <clears throat> well, Bobby, I'm starting with stripes, and I'm going to shoot the 11 combination into whatever that stripe is and standing in front of him. Yeah, shoot, what do you think? You just shoot the 11, shoot the 14 next. Yeah, shoot the 11 into the combination ball. Oh, yeah, I didn't see the ball hanging. Right. Mm. And just move the four a little bit. I'd move the four a little bit. He may not even touch the four. No, yeah. no need to. No. He wanted the 11 to hang so he, he could shoot the 14. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not bad, but, but he's got to shoot the 14 now. He cannot leave it there. And I don't think he wants the 11 as the ball before the 8 unless he can get up here. So I think he might go 13 next. And then the 12 with the Z shot to bring him back here behind the balls. Yeah, you're just going to miss the one coming across, hit the diamond just past the side pocket. Like that. Eight in the side. And to the mountaintop goes SVB. That was an X, Y, Z shot. Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. Got right on the money. The whole, the whole alphabet. Yeah, got Here's right Mike, on the Mike DeShane shooting uh, got right solid on the right down there. <clears throat> Mike is two solids and the eight ball away from sending Warren home. Oh, excuse me, to the B side. It's winner's match. Looks like he just got to float a little here. Oh, he had plenty of room, plenty of angle. So two more shots from Mike to stay on the A side of the chart. And Warren gives it to him as the gentleman that he is. 9-5 for Mike, winner's action. Shane breaking for the match. down there in the kitchen. I'd like to try to snatch that racket. They like to do that when you jerk that tablecloth out. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the, call, the coffee cup stay there. I'd snatch it out quick, see if it, nothing moves. Yeah, you better call uh, Lance Burton or David Copperfield or mm -hmm. someone to, to do that for you. Playing the 11 uh, combination ball, 11 10 in the side. Mm -hmm. Another monster shot. Yeah, he wanted Wasn't to roll. No. He wanted to roll a little further to the left there. He's now he's still. No, I think he can make the 14. No, he, you don't hit it. he can't hit can it. Can he hit it? I think so. Well, it's, you know, I guess he can, of course. He's shooting at it, but. So you're going to hit the one? Oh, yeah. You better hit it full. Yeah, go right in the hole. Careful. Oof, yeah. Does that 12 go through that little gap there between the 13 and the 7? It that would be That would be incredibly fortunate. If he runs out here, he's going to earn this. This is a tough situation here. And the 11 goes. 
That's a great run out here, Ken, if he runs out from here. This balls were sitting tough. Yeah, but the thing is, the, the, he's got to get just Straight so perfect on, on that nine Straight where you in. don't hit the four ball. Just roll up like that. Well, he's there. He, now he might he might have to touch the three. If he does, he's got to hit it firm enough so the three gets out of his out. way. Look, he's bouncing off the rail. Okay, you don't have to hit the three. Yeah, he's going the rail. Well, he hit that ball good too, buddy. And I tell you, a little inside. That's why he's the best in the country. Side pocket for the match. <clears throat> and folks, if this goes in, we will be back with you at six o'clock with winner with uh, two more matches to be determined. And he made it. Congratulations, Shane Van Boning, nine three over Jeff Ignacio, winner side. Thanks for being with us, everybody. Take about a 30-minute break and tune back in at 6 o'clock. As soon as we know our competitors, we'll put it up on the screen.